Last meeting, Sir Angelino discussed about Arduino board description, program structure, and data types. For the overview of Arduino, it is an open source electronics prototyping platform based on easy to use hardware and software. It cons Arduino IDE is used to write and upload the computer code to the physical board. The key features of Arduino board are able to read analog or digital input signals from different sensors and turn it into an output. Your description and Arduino Uno board, it is the most popular board in the Arduino board family. It is the best board to get started with electronics and coding. Power USB Arduino board can be powered by the using USB cable from your computer. Next one is power barrel jack. Arduino boards can be powered directly from AC mains. Power supply by connecting it to the barrel jack. Next is the voltage regulator. The function of the voltage regulator is to control the voltage given to the Arduino board and stabilize the DC voltage used by the processor and the other elements. Another board description is crystal oscillator. It helps Arduino in dealing with time issues. Next is Arduino Reset. You can reset your Arduino board. It means you can reset your program from the beginning. Next is pins 3.35 GND VIN. Under 3.3V, it supplies 3.3 output volt. 5V supplies 5 output volt. GND or ground, there are several GND pins on the Arduino, any of which can be used to ground your circuit. Then VIN, this pin can also be used to power the Arduino board from an external power source. Like AC mains, power supply, next is analog pins. These pins can read the signal from an analog sensor like the humidity sensor or temperature sensor and convert it to a digital value that can be read by the microprocessor. Next one is main microcontroller. You can assume it as the brain of your board. The main integrated circuit on the Arduino is slightly different from board to board. Another board description is ICSP, pin or in circuit. Serial programming, it is the ability of a microcontroller to be programmed without disconnecting from the circuit. Next one is power LED, indicator. This LED, this LED should light up when you plug your Arduino into a power source to indicate that your board is powered up correctly. Next one is TX and RX. LEDs on your board, you'll find two labels, TX or transmitter, and RX or receiver. Next one is digital I or O. These pins can be configured to work as input digital pins to read logics and values or A, or as digital output pin to drive different modules like LEDs, relays, etc. And, uh, and another board description is AREF and it stands for analog reference. It is a uh, it is sometimes used to set an external reference voltage as the upper limit for the analog input pins. Next topic is program structure. The Arduino software is open source. The source code for the Java environment is released under the GPL and C C++ microcontroller. Libraries are under the LGPL. GPL means general public license, while LGPL means lesser general public license. Sketch is the Arduino program called Arduino programs can be divided in three main parts, which are structured values, variables and constants, and functions. Software structure consists of two main functions, setup function and loop function. Setup function, it is called a sketch starts. Use it to initialize the variables, pin models, start using libraries, and many more. It will only, only run once. Next is loop function. It analyzes and sets the initial values. The loop, the loop functions does precisely what its name suggests and loops cons consecutively allows your program to change. And Sir Angelin also discussed about variables, operators, and control statements for Arduino. First is variables under variables is scope. It is a region of the program and there are three places where variables can be declared, which are local var variables, formal parameters, and global variables. Local variables, variables are, that are declared inside the function or block or local variables. Next is formal parameters. It is a special kind of variable used in a subroutine to refer to one of the pieces of data provided as input to the subroutine. Next one is global variables, defined outside of all the functions, usually at the top of, pro of the top of the program. Then we proceed to operators. It is a symbol that tells the complier to perform specific mathematical or logical functions. C language is rich in built-in operators and provides the following types of operation operators, such, such as arithmetic operators, comparison operators, boolean operators, bitwise operators, and compound operators. Then he gave a specific example to discuss this type of operators. Next topic is control statements. Under this topic is, if statement, it takes an expression in parentheses and a statements or block of statements. If expression is true, then the statement or block of statements get executed otherwise the statement are skipped. Next control statement is if else statement. 
it can be followed by an optical else statement which executes when the expression is false another one is if, if else if else is statements the statement can be followed by an optical op optional else if else statement which is very useful to test various conditions using single if else if, else if statement then another control statement is, in, is which case statement it comp compares the value of a variable to the values specified in the case statement the last statement is conditional operator it is an ternary operator in c the ter ternary operator it's an operator which tri takes three oper operands rather than the typical one or two that most operators use and it provides a way to shorten a simple if else block then every control statement sir angelino gave an example to discuss even more i detailed manner that's what i learned of in the discussion of our teacher thank you